The Magic Paintbrush Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between rolling hills and a winding river, there lived a young boy named Tom. Tom was known throughout the village for his boundless creativity and his love for painting. He would spend hours each day sketching and painting scenes from the world around him, bringing his imagination to life on canvas. One sunny morning, as Tom was strolling through the village square with his beloved sketchbook in hand, he noticed an elderly man sitting on a weathered bench. The man had a long, flowing beard that reached down to his chest and a twinkle in his eyes that seemed to hold a thousand stories. Tom, being a curious and friendly young lad, approached the old man. Good morning, sir, he greeted with a smile. I'm Tom, the village painter. What brings you here today? The old man returned the smile and replied, Good morning, Tom. I am known as Master Wu, and I have heard tales of your incredible talent with a paintbrush. I have traveled from a distant land to seek your help. Tom was both flattered and intrigued. How can I assist you, Master Wu? He asked. Master Wu reached into his robe and pulled out an old, battered paintbrush. It looked ordinary, but there was an air of mystique about it. This, young Tom, is a magic paintbrush, Master Wu explained. It has the power to bring your paintings to life. Tom's eyes widened in astonishment. To bring paintings to life? That sounds incredible. Master Wu nodded solemnly. But remember, young one, with great power comes great responsibility. You must promise to use this brush only for good and never for harm. Tom agreed to the promise, and Master Wu handed over the magic paintbrush. Over the next few weeks, Tom's paintings became more enchanting than ever before. His brush brought to life gardens that bloomed with colorful flowers, oceans teeming with playful dolphins, and skies filled with magnificent birds. The entire village marveled at Tom's newfound abilities, and he became even more famous. However, as time passed, Tom's fame began to get to his head. He grew proud and arrogant often using his magic brush to impress others rather than bringing joy to their hearts. He stopped painting from his heart and started painting to gain praise and admiration. One evening, as Tom was strolling through the village square, he noticed a poor beggar sitting by the roadside. The beggar was hungry, cold, and had tears in his eyes. Tom decided to use his magic brush to paint a grand feast for the beggar, thinking it would make him famous once again. But when Tom finished his painting, he was horrified to see the feast come to life and start consuming the entire village. It turned out that his selfish intentions had corrupted the magic of the brush, and it had taken his dark desires and brought them to life. With great determination and effort, Tom managed to regain control of the brush and used it to undo the damage he had caused. He realized that true power came not from the magic of the brush but from the goodness of one's heart. From that day on, Tom returned to painting from his heart, bringing happiness and wonder to the village without seeking fame or fortune. He learned that the real magic lay in kindness, humility, and using his talents for the benefit of others. And so, young Tom continued to paint the world around him, spreading joy and inspiration to all who had the privilege of witnessing his art. And he knew, deep in his heart, that the most valuable lessons in life were the ones learned through humility, responsibility, and the power of a kind heart. Thank you for watching our video on World's Nature. If you enjoyed the story, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. We'll be back soon with more exciting stories. See you next time. Till then bye bye.